All right, uh, let's look at this interesting proof that uh, Euler's number, E, is irrational. All right, let's prove this by a contradiction. All right, as usual, we're going to assume the opposite of what we want to say. So we assume that uh, E is rational. By the definition of positive rational number, uh, we know that uh, there exist uh, M and N uh, natural numbers such that uh, here, this is just the uh, uh, series definition of E, so E is equal to M over N. Then we're going to do this uh, following manipulation of the equation. Uh, first, uh, we take the first N terms of the left-hand side, put it on the right-hand side. So we get that, and then you're left with 1 over N plus 1 factorial plus 1 over N plus 2 factorial, and so on. And after that, we multiply both sides by N factorial. Right, so let's pay attention to the right hand side. Right, since n factorial is uh, sort of the uh, common denominator of all these fractions here, once you multiply by n factorial, uh, this whole right hand side is going to turn it into an integer. Right, better yet, uh, since there's nothing negative about it, it's going to be a, a positive integer. So we know that it's a natural number. Right, so since it's a natural number, it's going to be at least 1. So we're going to have, all right, so 1 uh, less than or equal to, all right, so if you uh, distribute n factorial to the first term, you get this, and n factorial to the second term, we have this, and n factorial to the third term, we have this, all right? Then uh, we notice that uh, n plus 1 and n plus 2 and n plus 3 are at least 2. So I'm going to replace all these guys by 2. So you have a 1 over 2. You have a 1 over 2. Since we have a smaller denominator, uh, the fraction is going to be larger. And then you have a 1 over 2 squared. And a 1 over uh, 2 cubed. And so on. But you notice that this is a simple a geometric series. A being 1 over 2. R being 1 over 2. So the sum is going to be equal to 1. Right? Then we establish that the 1 is strictly smaller than 1, which is a contradiction because it just, just isn't true. Right? So therefore, by uh, proof by contradiction, uh, we can conclude that uh, E is a irrational number. All right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.